Hello, my lovely people. <laughs> Y'all, okay. Let me stop laughing. Let me stop laughing. Let me pull it together. Now, before I start this video, baby, I want to make a big, huge disclaimer. Ain't nobody over here talking about kids. We are talking about the parenting and lack thereof that these two have for their child, okay? For their child. So let me make that very clear because I have a question, y'all. <laughs> I have a serious one. Why they ain't cut that baby hair yet? Why they, I don't even want, y'all, I don't even want to call it hair. Why y'all ain't cut them pieces of, of patchwork off that baby's head? Why y'all ain't did it? I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. Let me just, let's just break it on down. Let's just get on down with it. Okay, first off, Yes, the baby over there, legendary, he did wear a helmet. Helmets sometimes can mess with your hair like that, but I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the time, it does not. What done happened was that baby had that helmet on. It was cruddy. It was dirty. It was sweaty. It was nasty. It was filthy. And all of that was sitting in his hair follicles, causing his hair to fall out. And now he has something on his head that looks like my mom knitted, just peaches and patches and, and, and things of that nature. I'm just going to call it how I see it. It's a mess. She kept saying, well, we can't cut his hair until he turned one, baby. When I, when I tell you, I would have been like Cinderella. Ooh, the clock strike midnight. He's one. He's one. I'd have been like Chris. Cause you know, Chris was supposed to be a barber, right? Ain't Chris supposed to go to barber school and everything else. Okay. So I'd have been like Chris. Gone up in there and get them clippers. Because, you know, he had a whole set of clippers when we seen him cut Aiden's hair. Which, once again, why is he not continuing to cut Aiden's hair? I mean, if you have a man that's trying to be a barber, that'd be like, you know, me trying to be a nail tech. And I'm sitting here and my nails is never done. I mean, we trying to make sense of it. Why is every boy in that house hair not laid, <laughs> laid to the slave? It should be slave to the gods, baby. Because, honey, um... I don't know. I, I mean, y'all, I'm trying to bite my tongue, but I can't do it because biting your tongue is just hard, okay? So I'm just going to have to give it to it raw. Please, nobody take offense to it because I ain't talking about this baby. But is it that Jasmine wants attention because she knows that her baby's hair is all jacked up? Is that what it is? Is that the reason? Because shame on Chris for not even stepping up. I mean, Chris has a jacked up hairline. Jasmine has a jacked up hairline. And it has obviously passed down to this baby, right? But Chris made sure he went and he shaved his head bald so we didn't have to keep looking at that um, cow licky stuff, okay? But honey, why are you allowing your child to walk around like this? Shouldn't getting the first haircut be a bonding experience for the father and the son? And what more bonding would it be if the father was actually doing the cutting? I mean, y'all can do it right in home. Jasmine, you spent all that money on those clippers for Chris to have them, but your babies can't get no haircut? Girl. I mean, you had that baby up in that cart on, a, 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 I can't even get it out, y'all, because I know it's going to be wrong, but she had that baby rolling around in that cart at H-E-B, rolling his head around, and girl, once, it looked like, every time he turned his head, like a whole different baby. One side you turn to, it's a bald baby. Next side you turn to, it's a little patch over here. He got the George Costanza going on in the front, and he got the Lionel Richie going on in the back. I'm confused. I mean, come on, let's make it make sense. It's all about attention. Because, honey, there ain't nobody that day gonna broke that can't go get a little $10 first baby haircut. Girl, if I was you, let me tell you something. If my baby hair looked like that, I'd have turned into a barber my dad gonna sell. Do you hear me? Because, see, I'd have been pre planning for that stuff. I'd have, been, I'd have bought me a dad gonna set of clippers on the 21st of last month, before his birthday rolled around this month, some good scissors, and baby, I'd have been sitting there doing a choppity chop. That hair needs a big chop. That, I'm sorry, y'all. When I saw that video, and I ain't even gonna lie, I was listening to some uh, reactors, and they just was shocking me and making me laugh. Baby, I'm not, I don't know what that is. If you ain't never seen a helmet hair in your life, baby, I don't know what that is. Girl, why would you continue to film with your child hair looking like that? But then again, she looked like she lets if she don't take them braids out of Caitlyn hair, Caitlyn hair gonna just walk away like it's been doing. I mean, we just got to get down with the hair. Caitlyn has had her hair and them braids so long that it don't even like braids. It looks like a pile of lint, honey. So you got one that's walking around that's got a whole fuzzy blanket, and then the other one who's got a patchwork knit quilt. I mean, what? Y'all. What is going on on these YouTube streets? 
I'm serious. Girl, you better go take you a drink of that Taylor Port and take a look at that baby and get you some truth. I know that you and his daddy is over there praising it, but if I'm just lost in the sauce of why y'all ain't cut that baby here yet. What? And then why they do Ava like that? You see them pictures that Jasmine put up of Ava. Why you do her like that? Because every time you take a picture of her, she looks scared and shocked. And I ain't saying that to be funny, but why she do that? Because at the end of the day, have y'all ever heard, and I, this is being me being serious, of children who have autism, they don't like sudden flashes and they don't like sudden noises. And every time you take a still picture of her and you have your flash on, Ava stands there and she ends up looking like she's scared to death. And then it's like, y'all, I can't even, I'm not even, y'all, 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 what is going on in this household? These are, you know what? Poor kids. That's all I can say. Poor kids. Because she sits here and talks about her kids being bullied at school. If you was to send your son to, to school with that damn hair, everybody's going to laugh. Everybody. Because he, look, he looks like the dude off of damn In Living Color that sits there. Homie, don't play that. Boop. Remember when he only had the fro on the top and a little piece on the side, Power Marshall Bill style? Ooh. Why y'all got me being messy like this? YouTube, y'all, I can't even believe it. I really can't believe it. I'm really sitting over here trying not to laugh. I really am because this is shameful. It's so shameful that you sometimes you get speechless on it. But I, I'm just like, wait a minute, girl, wait a minute. If you don't hurry up and cut that baby hair and you don't stop sitting over there praising him like you do, see, this is crazy. That's why Caitlyn ain't got edges now. None of them kids have edges. I'm even going to say Caitlyn. All they hear is running away. What is going on? What in the roach bacteria infection <laughs> is going on over there? Why is everybody here running away? Y'all, we can't make it up. We can't make it up. I had to sit here and talk to my folks. I said, girl, if you don't pick up this phone and record a video and ask them what is going on with this boy's hair and what's going on with these kids' hair, because in a minute, they're going to have to do a haircut on Caitlyn, too. Because she's already losing her edges and having a mohawk. So therefore, in a minute, they everybody over there going to need a clipper treatment. I mean, you know how they say black people don't get lice, but what do they got? I'm going to need y'all to tell me that. We're going to have to make that up. Because I'm thinking they got mesothelioma. <laughs> I'm thinking it's a mesothelioma running around in the house with them roaches. Y'all don't know what is going through my mind. It is something. Some kind of mite. Some kind of dirt mite, some kind of dust mite, some, some, something is eating up something there, but it ain't right. That's what I'm going to tell you. It ain't right. And y'all got me over here laughing and talking about this stuff. Shame on y'all. Shame on y'all storm chasers because I'm trying not to laugh. Y'all, it's not right. It's not right. But y'all, please, in the comments, let me know why you think she ain't getting this haircut and what is going on with everybody's hair running away. What do they got over there? Y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the comments. I can't with y'all. See you later.